Hello and welcome to Rosebud Game Dev Platform. I'm Farida, Product and Content Lead here at Rosebud AI. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to go from idea to a playable game using our platform. You are just three steps away from creating your own game. Prompt, publish and play. Let's dive in! You can start your game development process in one of two ways. First, begin from scratch, selecting from our 2D, 3D and voxel templates. Or, second, you can mod one of our pre-built game templates. Here is our 2D playground. This neon pong game was created in it. Check out these cool sounds. Beyond games, you can also use Rosebud to craft digital art pieces, bringing your artistic vision to life. Here is what our 3D playground looks like. And here is a Flappy Bird prototype made in it. This is our voxel playground, a Minecraft-like environment. This is an obstacle course where the goal is not to be thrown off this bridge. Now let's focus on the user interface. The left side displays a live view of the game you're working on. On the right side, you have a chat interface and tabs for code editing and asset management. Prompt is the first step. This chat interface is where you'll communicate your ideas and our AI will transform them into the game elements you imagine, coding them for you in real time. We will also show specific examples of prompting a bit later in this demo. The second step is publish. Once you're satisfied with your creation, just hit publish. The third and final step is play. With this unique URL, your game is instantly shareable and playable on any browser. Now let's take a look at the code editor tab. It allows you to manually edit the game's code, giving you the flexibility to work on code on your own if you want. In our asset creation tab, you'll find custom fine-tuned text-to-image models. These assets come with automatically removed backgrounds, making it easy for you to plug them right into your game environment. We can also generate 3D assets. Here's what they look like in the game. Now it's time we show you the process of game development in Rosebud. Let's create a Halloween inspired scene from scratch using our 2D playground. We will create a cute scene with a witch practicing her flying skills in her room. Let's go! First, let's generate a fitting room for our witch using our isometric rooms model. We're also specifying that it should have a cauldron in it. Here's our room. Now let's replace the background with it. It's just a bit small, so let's ask our AI to increase the size of it. Now let's generate our witch. Here she is, on her broomstick. Let's add her to the scene and replace the phaser logo with it. And here she is, practicing her flying around her room. Our scene is done. Now let's do some modifications to our 3D template. Here we will aim to accomplish four things. Change the speed of the snake to slower, change the color of the snake, then create a banana asset and change the apple asset to this banana. First, let's prompt to ask for the speed change. The snake's movement speed is slower now. Second step is changing the snake's color to red. The snake is red now. Now let's create a banana asset.
here is our banana. And as the final step, let's ask our AI to change the apple for the new generated banana. And here is our end result. For the last experiment, let's modify this 2D snake template and add more features to it. We have the list of changes we want to make. Implement the score, add slow and fast zones, and add text notification that the speed has changed. First, let's ask our AI to add score to the game. It's done. Now, let's ask to implement a one square slow zone, and if the snake passes it, the speed will decrease to one third for five seconds. We will also ask to mark the square with a unique color. The slow zone is implemented, but it only appears in one place and doesn't disappear. Let's ask our AI to change that, making the square disappear when passed and reappear in a random spot. And here we go! Our AI made the needed change and now the square reappears in a random spot. Our next feature is implementing a notification system. It will display a message on screen whenever the snake speed has changed. It should disappear after 3 seconds. Done! Now we should implement a fast zone with the same logic. And now we have a fast zone as well. We have implemented all changes successfully. That concludes our walkthrough of Rosebud Game Dev Platform. Thank you for joining me today, and if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out.